Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an animated background like this one using Illustrator and After Effects. So to get started I have After Effects open but right now I'm going to switch to Illustrator and then I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to be using the web large template which has the width of 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to hit create and as you can see now we have a blank canvas. So before we get started even if you haven't been using Illustrator that much I have to mention that this is really simple so you're going to be able to follow along even if you're opening Illustrator for the first time. With this blank canvas and one layer we're going to click on the brush tool and then we're going to hold that click so that we can see the other tools and we're going to select the pencil tool. Now with the pencil tool selected we need to double click right here on it and then by default it's going to look like this. So I'm just going to turn up the smoothness so that the lines that we create are going to look smoother and it's as simple as that. Now I'm going to hit OK and now we need to draw some lines. So for this tutorial we're simply going to draw three lines and they're going to look like this. So nothing too complicated, just three basic lines as you can see. I'm going to select all three of them and then I'm going to open the properties tab and I'm going to increase the stroke to somewhere around 10. Now if you don't see this then just simply go to window, workspace, essentials and then also you might need to reset your workspace. Now with these three selected I'm going to go to object, blend and make. So as you can see what has happened now is that we have some steps that are filling the gaps between the first line, the second line and the third line. And Right here if we go to blend options you can see that we can go to specified steps and if I turn on the preview and increase the number of steps you're going to see what's going to happen or we can select the specified distance. Now with four pixels it's pretty much one continuous shape but if I increase that to let's say 50 pixels you can see how it looks. So for this tutorial I'm going to use 100 pixels and this is what we have right now and if you're not happy with the way that it looks you can double click on your shape and then you can manually adjust each one of these paths. But once you're happy with what you've made you just simply need to save this as an illustrator file. So then go to file, save and then choose a location and the name for your illustrator file. Now after I'm done with creating these lines I'm going to simply switch over into After Effects and then right click right here in the project panel and hit import file and then import your illustrator project. So I'm going to import it as a composition and I'm going to have create composition ticked and then I'm going to hit open and as you can see now we have a composition which is named after our illustrator project and we can't see anything because the lines that we have created are also black as the background of this composition. So if I click right here to show transparency you can see those lines that we've made. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this layer and we're going to go to create shapes from vector layer and right now we have those lines imported and made into shapes which has saved us a ton of time and now we can delete that illustrator layer. The next step is going to be creating a new background solid and right now we're pretty much going to choose the color of our background. So I'm going to go with something that's a bit greenish. Now I'm just going to click here to make it the size of my composition because I had changed that but you most likely don't have to do that and then just hit OK and right now I have my background. So there's my background and here are the lines that we have created. Now what you can do right here is you can change the stroke on your lines so you can have something that looks like this or you can change the stroke all the way down to let's say 5. So now we have a look like that one but I'm going to go with a value of roughly 15. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into effects and presets 
and we're going to search for an effect which is called gradient ramp and we're going to apply it to the shapes. So we're going to switch over to radial ramp and then I'm going to use the color of the background as the start color of this ramp. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out here and I'm going to change the start and the end point of the gradient and you can use pretty much whatever looks good for you. So now I'm going to go back into fit and this is the background that I have right now. The next and pretty much the final step in creating this animated background is animating it. So we're going to search for turbulent displays and apply that effect to your lines. And as you can see that already does something but if I play this you can see that nothing is going on. So what we need to do right here is animate the evolution. So I'm going to hit the stopwatch to create a first keyframe and then I'm going to move the playhead to five seconds and I'm going to set the evolution to one. Now that's one entire rotation and as you can see it's changing from zero to 360 degrees. The next thing that I'm going to change is the amount and the size of the displacement and after playing with these values I have found that somewhere around 30 for the amount and 80 for the size works best and right now if I play this you can see that that's pretty much it but the thing is that after five seconds the animation stops. So you can either add more keyframes or you could do the thing that I'm going to show you right now. You need to open these effects, go to evolution and then alt or option click on this stopwatch. And that has enabled us to type in our own expressions for this value. I've done an entire tutorial about loop expressions a while back but pretty much what we're doing right here is we're going to click right here, go to property and then search for the loop out expression, click on it and as you can see it has already been typed in for us. The only thing that we need to change is the loop out type. So we're going to change it from cycle to offset and what's going to happen right now is that this animation is going to continue even after the last keyframe. So as you can see if I scroll through the timeline you can see that it continues. So now if we were to, for example, right click on the composition and then change the duration of the composition to one entire minute instead of eight seconds, we need to only expand the duration of our two layers, which are the background and the lines. And you can see that the animation is gonna be going on for the entire duration of the composition doesn't matter how long it is. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you've enjoyed it. For more tutorials like this one, please check out my channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.